Bonjour. Salut. The best things are always made of the finest ingredients. Just a touch of this and a touch of that. C'est parfait. So how about a touch of France? Join us as we discover France, its people and its culture. Also, find out about the touch of France here in Ghana. French companies, French culture and of course the French language. Parlez-vous français? Hey, learn, explore and experience a touch of France. Le glance à la française is famous worldwide. French fashion designers such as Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent, Christian Dior, Pierre Balmain, Givenchy, Lavin or Sonia Raquel have contributed to making France the most well-known brand in the world in the field of luxury fashion. Paris is one of the most renowned capital cities in the world. But did you know that it is the global capital of fashion too? Since the beginning of the 20th century, people from all over the world have traveled to La Ville Lumière or the City of Light to discover international fashion. Whether you are a top model, a creative makeup artist, a talented hairdresser, a gifted stylist or simply a fashion lover, the Paris Fashion Week is the place to be. France supports new creators, including those from Africa. To showcase in Paris and schools in both Paris and Lyon, they train future designers and artisans. France is also famous for its beauty products and fragrances. Amongst these, Guerlain probably is the world's most celebrated perfumer. When it comes to cosmetic products, L'Oreal is recognized to be the major reference in affordable beauty and makeup in this field. With brands like Black and & Lovely and Maybelline or SE. Let's pamper ourselves today with French beauty and fashion in France and Ghana. Hello, bonjour, bienvenue, welcome to Touch of France, the one show where we tell you all about France and France and Ghana. Today we will be talking about fashion and beauty. And my guest to talk about that is a brilliant entrepreneur who has made fashion a success thanks to her magazine Glitz Africa. I'm waiting for you guest Claudia Lumore. Here she is. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Thank you so much for being here. Thank mm, you. Of course, where else would I be? Have a seat. <laughs> oh, oh you brought your me copy. the latest copy. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love it. I love it. I learned so you. much about fashion in Africa. Would you like something to drink? Would you like a coffee? Yeah, coffee, please. Okay. Yeah. Garçon, can we have a couple of coffees, please? Oh, that's great. That's the good thing yeah. about French cafes. Coffees are always ready. Mm. Very nice. That's a nice design Thank as you. well. You know Thank well you. design. How do you find his outfit? I love it. Thank you very much. You look nice too. I think he designed it. Oh, he designed I asked it. it last time. I think he designed it with the French flag. Isn't that amazing? Lovely. Claudia, I've got it. so much to ask you. Yeah. Let's have a sip of coffee mm -hmm. and uh, a quick break. And okay. We'll be back. <laughs> Let's come back after the break. Stay with us. MPS Terminal 3 is Africa's new state of the art container terminal at Tema Port. For manufacturers, agro-processors and traders, the new port means business can be done faster. This infrastructure boost will improve Ghana's port handling capacity, connect more trading routes and oil the engine of growth for the economy, creating great opportunities across all sectors as Africa's markets merge and become the largest trading bloc globally. MPS. We connect. You thrive. I said it all, got it all the way. She wants it all. Can we all pretend she said it first? All in all, I don't understand. She came around all the other times she didn't say. Time and time, look out for me. Let's run it down, baby. I'm making right. 
We, 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 we are the Catalan Ghana. It's the make a 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 Welcome back to Touch of France. Welcome back on Touch of France. I'm sitting here with Claudio Lemoore, the head of Glitz Africa, the wonderful magazine, and she brought me a copy. Isn't that great? Claudia, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. What is your story? Because I heard yeah. you, you studied finance and banking. How mm -hmm. on earth did you end up in fashion? <laughs> I know, it just happened by chance, I have to be honest with you. I didn't have this a plan at all, maybe that's why I keep doing it, shoot me. But yeah, um, yeah, my background is banking um, and law. Um, I moved back to Ghana um, 10 from years ago from London, UK? from UK, mm -hmm. yeah. So 10 years ago, I came back home and um, I, I still went into banking, by the way, when mm -hmm. I came back to Ghana. Um, but I think I just chanced on this. I've always loved magazine when I lived abroad. I've always loved fashion. Um, as my side job when I was schooling, I was always doing personal styling mm -hmm. in Selfridges. Oh, you do personal styling? Yeah, so you could so, style me. Oh, oh, yeah, I love it. It's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> I love it. So, so what yeah. did you start first? The, the magazine or did you start fashion shows? Magazines first. Magazines, magazines first. first. Yeah, because, I mean, like, I, you know, I... And when I came in, a lot of people like myself would move back home. Mm -hmm. And we really didn't find magazines like that. I've always loved magazines. I'm one of the people that grab my magazine and grab my coffee and I go to work. And mm -hmm. I wasn't finding that here, you know. So I researched into it, schooled myself. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, why aren't we telling stories in a very tasteful manner of people that are doing very well in our country. Mm -hmm. Other countries were doing it very nicely, but I couldn't find, you know, a very nice glossy magazine that is celebrating icons and people doing very well in a very tasteful manner. So that's so. what we find in Glitz, right? So yeah. uh, famous people, do we find advices for beauty? What else can yeah. we find? If it is a lifestyle magazine, so it gives you a little bit of beauty, fashion, um, entrepreneurship, health, wellness, all of that. So what makes people, you know, um, an ebonite, you know, mm. a well-rounded um, kind of African citizen, if you want mm -hmm. to put it like that, or people who are diasporans looking to see what is in here in Africa and Ghana. Um, yeah, so that's what it is. So, how would you describe the fashion in Africa? Is that different from Europe? No, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even pull it like that because now we, as people say, we're in a global village, right? Mm -hmm. When I see in Paris or, you know, in New York Fashion Week, I don't really see a difference from what we're doing and what they're doing. Mm -hmm. It's the same production. By the way, I work on productions in New York Fashion Week Sorry. and it is really the same what we do here. Probably the difference is maybe the fabrics that you're right. using, but if, even that, I mean, a lot of the designers here are using foreign fabrics anyway. Right. And also, designers from Europe are now using African, you know, That's what you I was know about African fabrics as well. It seems that I've so, seen yeah. a few fashion show or yeah. fashion designers, European, American, yeah. who are using African yeah. fabric. Yeah, I think now people are okay to wear bold colors and mixed colors, you know, mm -hmm. and globally people are accepting it as, you know, a nice way of mixing it and, you know, creating something amazing. So, yeah. And how do you think this went through? Is that thanks to some African icons or some, uh, fashion designers who managed to impose those fabrics or this style. How mm. did this interest for African fabric, African style 
goes through. Do you know what? I just think that it's just the you know the narrative. A lot more people are telling stories, changing the narrative of what Africa really is. And I think because of that, I mean, a lot more people are interested in Africa. People are coming here for holidays, business, and everything. They've seen what we can do with the fabric. You know, mm -hmm. people understanding Africa, understanding our culture, understanding our fabrics. And um, I think really that's what it is. You know, it is the age for it. You know, and people are interested in Africa. So I think that really brings it on. Even people that have never been to Africa want to connect with Africa in a way. Mm -hmm. So if you're a designer and you have a touch of that, you know, it sort of changes the story for you. And people are also looking for purpose as well. Mm -hmm. And especially for black, black people living abroad and never been to Africa before. It's a powerful tool for them to feel like they have a touch of where they come from in their look and in, you know, everything they do. Do, do you sell your magazine uh, overseas as well? Yeah, we have them in London. Yeah. Right. Um, it's only because maybe I'm, you know, I grew up there. Yes. So yeah, but yeah. Yeah. And does not it in sell France well? yet. Not so, in yeah. France yet. Well, there's a challenge here. <laughs> yeah. There's a challenge. That's your next target, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, so, so do you roughly, um, is it more or less African people, African descent, who are reading it? Or do you have a feeling that also uh, yeah. European natives are interested in African yeah. fashion? You know what, if you go on Glitz Africa, all that data will show you that my huge number of people who come to our websites and our pages are people from Europe or from America and all of that. It tells you that people are, when people are interested and they want to know what is happening in Ghana and Africa, people are reaching out to these pages to see what is happening. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a very pow powerful tool for us even when we're creating content because we know who our audience are people who are interested you know we, we our passion is to tell the tasteful side of Africa mm -hmm. that you know what well, Africa is not you know all what we see on CNN and all people are poor fighting and crying we have a beautiful continent the people who drink champagne people who drink wine we're ready for investment the people who stay and have lovely dinners so that's what we we want to tell a different narrative we want to uh -huh. tell the tasteful side of Africa and Ghana and that's what we're doing and it's drawing a lot of um, attention to what we're doing. Well, yes, I think it must be very that. inspiring because many, yeah. many African pa talents must have been quite frustrated that they didn't yeah. have any channel to advertise and promote what they were doing and you're giving yeah. them this opportunity. That is yeah. fantastic. Yeah, it, you know, it's a huge and it's very humbling for us because when I came to Ghana like 10 years ago, I'm so free. Ghana wasn't like this, you know. Mm -hmm. And now to see a lot of young creative people, you know, believing in themselves, not afraid to express themselves, you know, create something amazing is really great. And in our own small way as a platform, I'm very glad we could That's do so that. That's so inspiring. That's wonderful. I'm sure people watching us must be, must be really, really happy to hear that because you're giving a different flavor, a different taste of Africa. Africa. Let's take a little break and we'll be back in a second. MPS Terminal 3 is Africa's new state-of-the-art container terminal at Tema Port. For manufacturers, agro-processors and traders, the new port means business can be done faster. This infrastructure boost will improve Ghana's port handling capacity connect more trading routes and oil the engine of growth for the economy, creating greater opportunities across all sectors as Africa's markets merge and become the largest trading bloc globally. MPS. We connect. You thrive. Superstay Mad Inc. from Maybelline, New York. Liquid matte formula. Up to 16 hour wear. 
Superstay Mad Inc. Only from Maybelline, New York. Welcome back to Touch of France. Now let's learn more about what the French do. Victim de la monde. Fashion victims, aren't we all? And if some French names are even more famous than footballers, it's probably designers. French fashion creations are preferred and referenced worldwide thanks to several French famous fashion designers. Coco Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent, Christian Dior, Pierre Balmain, Hubert de Givenchy, Jean Lavigne, and Sonia Riquet. Their creations have shaped the world's fashion standards. Chanel designed the first female soft tailored suits, launched the art of wearing jersey fabric, and brought beachwear into fashion. Yves Saint Laurent created the ladies' tuxedo and fashioned a whole new way of wearing colors. These Maison de Cocheur, named after their designers, have become world-renowned fashion brands. Originally, all clothes were tailor-made, an expensive process known as haute couture, which served the world's richest and most elegant women. But, ready to wear in French, prêt à porter clothes appeared in Paris in the mid-20th century, hoping to democratize fashion and make it more affordable. French beauty and cosmetics are also renowned worldwide. L'Oréal is number one in business of beauty and cosmetics in France. Its success at international level is partly thanks to its choice to offer the largest range of products, suiting the largest variety skins, hair and tastes. In France, the industry of fashion and beauty is one of the nation's highest earners. It represents 3.1% of the French GDP and provides over a million jobs. It is also one of France's leading export industries. People from all over the world come to France to discover French fashion and beauty in the famous grand magazines on Boulevard Haussmann, in the luxury shops of Champs-Élysées, or shopping streets like Avenue Montage and Rue Saint-Honneur. Since 1973, Paris Fashion Week attracts every year people from all over the world. Famous worldwide stylists, models, makeup artists, hairdressers or simply fashion and design fans. France has always supported new creators, including talents from Africa, to showcase in Paris. Several schools in France are specialized in design and fashion training. The Institut Francais de la Monde is ranked in the top three best design schools worldwide. But others like Ecole du Pire, Atelier Jean Savard, Institut Magroni, or Condera are also very trendy. Welcome back from Touch of France. I'm having an amazing conversation with Claudia Lumour, the head of the Glitz magazine. So I've asked her a lot about Glitz, but now I would like to know about the Glitz fashion show. Tell us about it. Where did the idea come from? Yeah, I think, you know, I got the privilege of working with a lot of amazing young designers and, you know, established designers as well when we started the magazine. And I felt like a lot of them, um, haven't got, they didn't have the opportunity to showcase what they're doing um, on platforms. Uh, why? Or why? Because, because is there a price have, to pay to get on the platform? No, we just didn't or? have these platforms in Ghana. Basically, oh, you didn't? That's, yeah, we didn't but there have is an Accra fashion show. They there came is, recently. Did they come later? Yeah, oh, yeah right. they all came recently, yeah. So we didn't have like established, you know, run, you know, run platforms away. like this. Mm -hmm. And um, I took some outside the country to do shows um, mm -hmm. myself, funded mm -hmm. it, but then I felt like, you know what, well, we, if we can't get all of them to go and do shows outside, mm -hmm. let's create our own platform and bring the world to see what we're doing. And so that's why we created and the Glitz Fashion Show. How many people are coming to attend the Glitz Fashion Show? Oh God, every day we have over almost 2,000 people. You're and kidding. Yeah, and it's, all, it's not just people from Ghana, it's a Pan-African event. We're part of the um, um, Commonwealth Fashion Council. And so, so for a week? Yeah, um, it's four days. It's four, it's four days? days yeah. 
from so morning till, till evening from afternoon, afternoon. Uh, mornings are more um, fashion seminars mm -hmm. so we have beauty and fashion seminars and in the afternoon and evenings you have the runway shows and you have 2,000 yeah. people a day yeah on media that's how much interest there is yeah yeah and even more I mean it's just you know more people watch it online because everybody can get to the place but that's why you know even what well, the media the photos and the pictures that with videos that we're right. producing is really important because we have people watching it outside the country as well so yeah there's huge interest for it but for me what is really given to us as the industry is creating and developing an industry it's learning dedication part of it is something I'm really mm -hmm. passionate about we have amazing um, partnership with you know the trade and um, trade centers coming in to show them how to brand themselves how oh, to you're export training them. them oh so yeah you're, you're actually coaching them yeah really. yeah I mean there's a huge business part to it I mean this is no joke I mean I tell right. my team and I tell people all the time that it's not it's not entertainment you know mm -hmm. it is it's a it's a business, it's business. A serious business. Fashion Week is a business platform. So right. people are coming in to showcase their collection. They've worked over months, but we also add an education to it. So we have people showing them as spotting out of the country, how to so, brand it, so how to access markets. Is what so we do. What advice would you give to a yeah. designer who yeah. is just starting? What what kind of advice would you give him or her? Yeah. It's quite a few hers, right? Yeah. <laughs> Funny enough, now there are a lot of him, guys as well. But yeah, I mean, for me, what I would say is, you know, find yourself first. You know, mm -hmm. find your original self. You mean because, don't try and do the same yeah, as the others? Yeah, because you know what? There's a lot of influencers. They see too much and sometimes they get lost in what they really want to produce. You know, we do imagine designers, you know, mentorship. And mm -hmm. we have a l huge number of them. And sometimes when you look at their business concepts and their models and their plan, everybody's trying to do bridal. And I mm -hmm. ask them, why are you trying to do that? It's because everybody's getting married every week in Ghana and Africa. But is that what you want to do? Is that what brings mm -hmm. out your creativity? So it's nice to do what, you know, but they need to find themselves, spend time with themselves. And they're in, sometimes people are in a rush as well to be successful, mm -hmm. to of be course. noticed. We all want to be stars, don't yeah, we? Yeah, but it takes time and the work, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would say. The big, you know, take what, time for yourself. What is fashion to you? Because sometimes yeah. when I watch fashion shows, I yeah. look at those clothes and I yeah. say, I couldn't wear this. Yeah. So what is fashion to you? What would yeah. be the definition? Is that something wearable? Is it supposed yeah. to be nice? Is it supposed to yeah. <laughs> tell a message? What is fashion? Yeah, I think for me, I mean, everybody defines fashion in a very different way. But for me personally, fashion is what makes me comfortable. Oh, but so then most of the time, some designers fashion is like. not meant to be comfortable as well. well. Of course. Yeah, but I think, you know, it's an expression of who you are. You know, what way we show, you know, to showcase who you are and, you know, more than how you appear. You know, if right. you, you know, it's a question. It's an, so what does it say you? about you when you manage to wear these high platform shoes? Yeah, well, you obviously, you know, want to be taller. taller. <laughs> I want to be taller. <laughs> and good posture, I guess. Oh gosh, yeah. you have to stand really low. But then, you know, on runway, not their runway collection and their runways that, you know, are for red carpet and for every day. So when designers build their collection, they build pieces out of the collection. So mm -hmm. it's not everything. People can wear runway ready clothes, mm -hmm. but some people can wear versions of it to mm -hmm. suit their body. So they, it's, it's, you know, they've created a, a two piece mm. or a 12. 12 piece or 20 piece collection but they build pieces out of that collection for different people mm -hmm. so yeah and uh, you say something that suits you but when I look at models they're yeah. all so skinny mm -hmm. I say okay it looks good on them but what if I wear it and when I was in the glitz fashion show I noticed yeah. that you had models who were normal women yeah normal size women yeah yeah so I think that, we want it yeah on purpose yeah it is you know because you know we're African women you know and our bodies are not you know are, are in a certain way mm -hmm. but we also wanted to give people inspiration that you know models we, we have standard mo models because is you know it's their sample pieces they're mm -hmm. showing mm -hmm. so they can't use bigger sizes or you mm -hmm. know they have to fit the average yes have to squeeze so they're in. using sample size and that's why we have sample models mm -hmm. but then we have the plus size models also to show that you know these pieces you're seeing can be made you in call them plus yeah. size i call them normal yeah. size i know they're right. more like everyone yeah that? we're all plus size no <laughs> yeah we are absolutely yeah. <laughs> absolutely thank you we'll thank be back you. in a second do you speak a little french Oh God, don't try me. You know, I love your country. Real I love you. it. I'm there almost every three months, but please don't try except bonjour. Well, I too. will try you. I will try <laughs> you. So get ready. Take a big breath. We'll be back in a second. I am going to try her French. <laughs> Hello. 
MPS Terminal 3 is Africa's new state-of-the-art container terminal at Tema Port. For manufacturers, agro-processors and traders, the new port means business can be done faster. This infrastructure boost will improve Ghana's port handling capacity, connect more trading routes and oil the engine of growth for the economy, creating greater opportunities across all sectors as Africa's markets merge and become the largest trading bloc globally. MPS. We connect. You thrive. Fit Me Foundation. Fit skin tone and texture. Blurs pores, control shine. Our most diverse shades ever. Find your perfect fit. Maybelline's Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Make it happen. Maybelline New York. Welcome back to Touch of France. Now let's see what the French do here in Ghana. In Ghana, French perfumes and cosmetics are becoming popular. Among them, L'Oreal products have managed to offer suitable cosmetics, shampoos and makeup for all shades of skin and all types of hair. But like many French companies, L'Oreal wants to make a difference in communities in Ghana. Although the French cooperation in Ghana has not focused on fashion, France will always be France and fashion a language of passion for the French. No wonder the French residence was the perfect jewel box to shelter the launch of 2019's Glitz Fashion Week. And it was no coincidence, but a real pride that the number three winner of Total Starter Up contest was a young lady with a clever product in the area of cosmetics. Welcome back to Touch of France. I know she's freaking out, but I'm going to test Claudia Lumour with her French. Oh, you're laughing already. <laughs> so, Claudia, get ready. How do you say in French perfume? Parfum. Parfum. See? How can you pretend you don't speak French? It's so easy. Do you know what? I'm trying to, you know, twist it a little bit with an accent and see if it works. And it I'm works. trying to be smart. And it works. And it works. How do you say ready to wear? Oh, prêt à porter. Prêt à porter. Yeah. Do you say that in English too? Yeah. That's prêt what we use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's one of, well, that's so another yeah, French word. Yeah. From. Of course, you borrowed <laughs> from us. Of course. How would you say a dress? Okay. How? Rob. 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 Oh, oh God. You know what? Maybe after this you can get me a French teacher. I could. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to learn French? Oh, you know what? It's a passion of mine, though. I really want to. But how come but you I'm terrible at languages. Why? Oh, no, you're not. No, I am. I am an Ashanti woman. So, so? sometimes people laugh at us that we're not great with languages. So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's... <laughs> That's but no, but I, I would love to. I would love to. I go to France, you know, too many times in a year not to know how a line of... You know, how do you so, find yeah. your way when you're in France if you don't speak perfect French? Do you know what's funny? You know, so I, I go like, you know, when they see the stats mean I said, no, 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 Fran English, English. <laughs> and do people speak English to you? Sometimes they can be a little rude, but it's not because they're being rude. It's just because, they, you know, they, are, they can also speak English. 
So then we just use sign language. Can they? Some, Some of them. Oh, oh you sign. sign? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, where do I go? Show the like, oh, yeah, yeah, that way, that way. We figure it out. And they're helpful. Yeah, very helpful. But helpful. a lot of people, in fact, well, not a lot of people, but they can speak, you know, English, too, which English. is great. Yeah, With English a great. very French accent. Yes, which so is nice. Is I it? Like it. I, like it. it. I like it. I like it. So when can you, you can speak English with a French accent? <laughs> what is it like? I wouldn't even, I don't even know how to try that. Like, it is a fashion show. Yeah. I have a magazine. Yeah. So actually, that tells you that magazine is magazine. Isn't so it? That's another word. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's another yeah. French word that you pinch from us. There are so many French words in English that you wouldn't know about. Interesting. I should try and make a whole list. That will help. That would be my way of learning the language, you see. So, <laughs> do you know how to say makeup? Oh, no. Show me. Tell maquillage. Me. Oh, maquillage. You've heard that already, haven't you? Yeah. Maquillage. Maquillage. See? Oh, okay. Interesting. And how do you say fashion? Oh, God. No, you have to say that. Mode. Mode. La mode. La mode. Ah! Oh. See? You yeah. heard it. The magazine's like that, actually. La mode, La absolutely. Mode, yeah. Magazine, yeah. La mode, a fashion magazine. The fashion magazine, yeah. See, yeah. You, ha yeah. you know more French than you Do you get what I mean? Yeah, we always think. think it's so hard, though, but it's not really. I think I suppose it's mindset, once you put your mind to it. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Just, you just need a teacher who tells you how easy it is. I have Francais here, I come. You can come, yes, you can come to Alliance Francaise and learn some yeah. French. Yeah, yeah. Indeed, indeed. So, Thank you so much, Claudia, for You're being welcome. with us. Thank You're you so welcome. much for telling Can us. Can I all about well teach you a chi language as well? Uh, you know Kakrabit. Kakrabit. Oh my God, I hate you right now. You can say that, and I can say. It. Well, you, I was going to tell you to say medase. Medase. Good. Medase pa. Oh my God. Oh, am I impressing you? Oh yeah, too much. <laughs> now you have to stop this now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank I'm, you. I just rehearsed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being Thank with you. us. Stay with us, we'll be back in a minute. MPS Terminal 3 is Africa's new state-of-the-art container terminal at Tema Port. For manufacturers, agro-processors and traders, the new port means business can be done faster. This infrastructure boost will improve Ghana's port handling capacity, connect more trading routes and oil the engine of growth for the economy, creating greater opportunities across all sectors as Africa's markets merge and become the largest trading bloc globally. MPS. We connect. You thrive. Decathlon Ghana. Oh, yeah. the oh, yeah. 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 oh,
back on Touch of France. I am sitting here with the economic attaché, Olivier. He's working with the embassy and he knows everything about business. As you've understood, beauty and fashion is about business. Let me ask him about how to do when you are a talented designer, a beauty, fashion, cosmetics, Canadian company, if you want to export to France. Is that possible? Yes, of course, Mrs. Ambassador. Thank you, for, thank you for this question. You know, uh, France is in fact a big market. You've got 67 million people in France, so most of them have traveled around the world and they are excited to wear Ghanaian, African and generally all Western countries' products. Really? Yeah, yeah, they do. They, they are fond of wax. Since they uh, like wax? Yes, of course, since we had uh, many top models from Naomi Campbell, Katusha Lane, Imani, we have got a good idea on this. You've learned your lesson, or are oh, you a, a model fan? <laughs> yes, I am. Of and course. The, the, the Ghanaian diaspora also is a good color of what is Africa in France. So, so that's what caught up. That's why yeah. the French suddenly fell in love with African exactly. fashion. Exactly. And the, you, you got, by the entering France, a huge market in Europe. You know, that's more than five, five million persons. Mm -hmm. So there's a market. So getting into France is opening the market exactly. to all Europe. Exactly. Maybe you must check if you would have to adapt your product. You know, mm -hmm. French has special habits. There are special use uh, of living. And the climate is not the of, same. Exactly, of wearing things, wearing clothes. So make sure that your products are fitting the market. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting thing to do before trying to export. And how to do France. you do that? Do you watch things on TV? Do you watch fashion shows? Well, the broadcast uh, is very useful to, to do that, to know how people are living. So, my first advice check your product. It's difficult to sell, to sell sand in Sahara. Is it? Yes, it sand is. Sand in Sahara. You don't send, yeah. sell sand in Sahara. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good try, though. <laughs> My second advice uh, will be on your partners. You know, in textile and clothing sector, maybe sometimes uh, there are companies. Mm -hmm. and you must be aware of what they are doing and, and check if they've got a, a financial okay. backbone. So there you need to look at strong exactly. investment partners, It, it will right? depend on what kind of process you mm -hmm. will use to export, whether it will be directly to shops or by retailers. But you must know that in France uh, there's a special regulation okay. on, demand, on payment delay and it could be long okay. before earning your money back. So okay. you also have, have to add a financial backbone, which okay. will be very strong. So you really need to take as many informations as possible before exactly. you go, but there is an appetite, so that's exactly. what you're saying. That's right. So thank you so much. I think we know everything about fashion, beauty, and if you are a talented designer, you have your chance. As long as you know your product, maybe adapt a little, get information before you jump into the big bath, but you have your chance. MPS Terminal 3 is Africa's new state-of-the-art container terminal at Tema Port. For manufacturers, agro-processors and traders, the new port means business can be done faster. This infrastructure boost will improve Ghana's port handling capacity, connect more trading routes and oil the engine of growth for the economy, creating greater opportunities across all sectors as Africa's markets merge and become the largest trading bloc globally. MPS. We connect. You thrive.
Touch of France. Are you ready for the test of French? I'll give you a word, three options, you text the right answer and you win this time a hamper from L'Oreal. So prick up your ears. What is the French word for tuxedo? French word for tuxedo. Is it one smoking? Is it two suit? Is it three? Tuxing. The French word for tuxedo. Is it smoking, suit, or tuxing? Do you think you know the right answer? Text one, two, or three to one seven eight eight. One, two, or three, one seven eight eight. And if you are the first to give the right answer, you will receive this wonderful hamper from our partner L'Oreal. Dear viewers, thank you so much for staying tuned with us. This was the show Touch of France and we talked about beauty and fashion. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me thank our sponsors for today's show. Meriden Port Services, MPS, Air France, Decathlon, Silver Star, Ghana, L'Oreal, of course, who's giving you this wonderful hamper as a prize and of course, Roger Vivier, the wonderful luxury shoes. I hope you had a good time. I hope I will find you next week, same place, same time, for another exciting episode of Touch of France. Meanwhile, I wish you a bonne semaine, which is have a good week. I say merci beaucoup, which is thank you very much. And I say au revoir, goodbye. <laughs>